Welcome to Talk Investing. I'm Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about Riot Platform, stock ticker R-I-O-T. They are a Bitcoin mining company. We cover Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners all the time on this channel. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoy that content, please remember to subscribe. Also, if everybody could do us a favor and smash the like button, I'm trying to get 350 likes for this video. You guys have been doing an unbelievably great job of smashing the like button, and it is helping the channel out a lot, so I really appreciate it. Okay, I want to talk about Riot Platforms, and I want to talk about a few things. They put out their monthly operational report. They also put out their quarterly financial statements as of June 30th, 2023. So I want to talk about a couple of things that are going on in there. There is one thing that's going on with Riot that is incredibly good. It's having a massive impact on profitability in a positive way. Having said that, there's another thing that continues to go on with Riot that is having a very negative impact on profitability, and I want to dig more into that, and I'm hoping management can provide some answers. So the two things I'm talking about, the good news that I'm talking about, I want to talk energy credits, because what Riot is doing with energy credits is absolutely incredible. They are dwarfing all the rest of the Bitcoin miners put together. They get more energy credits on a monthly basis, literally, than all the other publicly traded Bitcoin miners ever it up put together and it's not even close so at the moment they are an industry leader in this it's making a dramatic impact on their profitability right is a bitcoin mining company the main thing that they do is mine bitcoin but they do host bitcoin miners this is a division that continues to lose money and it's losing money at an accelerated rate. I'm going to talk about what's going on there. We did get a chance to talk with management about this. They did indicate that this would come to an end and ultimately that this would be a profit center. But the thing is, it just keeps getting worse. So I'm hoping management can quantify this. How much more pain is left? Because there's a chance that by the end of 2023 or early 2024, this could end up being a total of over $100 million in losses. And these are not paper losses. These are not a adjustments mark to market. This is actual money, dollars that they are spending and losing on hosting. So at some point, this has to end. I just want to know why. I will show you more details on that. So this is the good news, bad news. There's a lot of other good news with Riot. So I don't want to leave the impression with people that I think, you know, this is a company that's in trouble. Okay, first things first. This is their August press release that they put out a couple of weeks ago now. Riot announces August 2023 production and operations update. Riot produced 333 Bitcoin while realizing expanded benefits of power strategy. So at a glance, 333 Bitcoin for a company the size of Riot with the infrastructure that they have seems really bad. So you do have to dig into this a little bit deeper. So I'm going to jump right to this. You're going to see a quote here from Jason Les. He's the CEO of Riot. Riot achieved a new monthly record for power and demand response credits, totaling $31.7 million in August. That surpassed the total amount of all credits received in the year 2022. Just in the month of August, they received $31.7 million of energy credits. That's more than they got for the entire year last year in 2022. So this is the quarter of each year that they will get the most energy credits. It's the summer months that they're getting huge energy credits. I expect that this will continue, but it does impact the amount of Bitcoin that they mine. However, he goes on to say, based on the average Bitcoin price in August, power and demand response credits received equated to approximately 1,136 Bitcoin. So plus the 333 Bitcoin that you have, that's over 1,400 Bitcoin equivalent in total. That would make them the largest miner of Bitcoin from a production standpoint in the month of August by far. So I know a lot of you will decide for yourselves. Some people would rather have the Bitcoin than the energy credit credits, that is for each individual investor to decide for themselves. But you can see, financially speaking, these energy credits are gigantic. Now, a lot of people complained about these energy credits. They don't like the fact that Riot's getting paid so much money. I'm going to start with the energy credits. You'll see the way they account for these is you're going to see $13,470,000 in energy credits. That was a spectacular quarter. That's actually the best quarter they ever had. But obviously, this next quarter ended September 30th is even going to be substantially better than that because we know that just the month of August was more than double this number. So this offsets a significant amount of their energy costs. So this brings their cost per coin down for this quarter to about $8,000. That does provide them with one of the lowest cost per coins. Now the offset to that is they're not mining as many coins. But you're going to see if we look directly just at the Bitcoin mining portion of this business, they had just under $50 million in Bitcoin mining revenue. 
they had $23 million in Bitcoin mining direct energy costs. That does not include their energy credits. That's accounted for on a separate line. But it is important to remember, you can't take this 13 million and just subtract it from their Bitcoin mining because they also spend $22 million in energy on data hosting. So essentially, this has to be split 50-50 between their Bitcoin mining energy that they spend and their data center hosting energy that they spend. Their data center hosting revenue was $7.6 million. On the other side of that, their data center hosting cost was $22 million. They're losing almost $15 million a quarter at this point. If we look year to date, their year to date revenue is $16.7 million. Their year-to-date cost for hosting is $47.7 million. So that's over a $30 million loss year-to-date. And again, these are real dollars. This is not some paper write-off that will be adjusted later. This is real dollars that they're losing. They're on pace to lose $60 million this year. So last year, in the year 2022, they lost $25 million in their hosting division. You could see them potentially losing over $100 million in hosting Bitcoin miners. Now, I will have a caveat to this because I did talk to Jason on the channel. He was nice enough to come on. He was very forthcoming. He answered all questions. He did indicate that at some point he felt this would be a profit center. You know, he would not say when that would be. And obviously that's not something I think he can disclose. That would be a guess on his part. And he also explained that the reason they're losing this kind of money is there's legacy contracts involved here. In other words, there's contracts that were already in place when they bought this facility and they have to honor the rest of those contracts. So until those contracts go away, they're going to continue to lose money. What I would like to see, and if it's in their financial financial statements or if it's disclosed somewhere, somebody from Riot come forth and tell us what this is. If this may be something they're not allowed to disclose, I don't know. But to me, for as long as I don't know the number, how much more pain is to come? Because since the first time I asked Jason this question, it's actually gotten much worse, not better. So as an investor, I don't know. Without, you know, without some guidance, I don't know how much more money there is left to lose here. So like I said, this is a little bit of a black hole that sits in the middle of their income statement. Now, even with all of this said, this company overall does have positive EBITDA. They are cash flow positive. These energy credits make a massive difference. Their balance sheet is extremely strong. So those are the reasons that I am invested in this company, but this is not financial advice. I can't tell you to buy this company. I can't tell you to sell this company. So, you know, you need to make your own judgments. Does their strength of balance sheet, does their energy credit policy outweigh the fact that they seem to be in the short term losing money hosting Bitcoin miners, and it's not a little bit of money. Okay, so on the flip side of this, I do want to point out, when I say that they have a strong balance sheet, this is an unbelievably strong balance sheet. In my opinion, the strongest balance sheet out of all the Bitcoin miners. The first thing is they have $482 million of current assets. As of June 30th, 2023, $289 million of that is in cash. So in the event that Bitcoin goes sideways or in the event that even Bitcoin goes down and we move from one crypto winner that we just went out of, even if we should move into another crypto winner, with $289 million of cash in the bank, $482 million of current assets against only $74 million of current liabilities, this is an unbelievably strong balance sheet. The other thing worth noting is they only have $118 million in total assets. They have zero debt. All I can tell you is that from my perspective, with that massive amount of cash, very few liabilities in general, and no long-term debt, this is a company that is set up to pretty much weather almost any storm. So these are some of the reasons that I like Riot. You know, I just don't want to harp on the fact that there's this one situation. That's just one piece of their puzzle. The last thing I want to show you guys, if you take a look at their investor presentation, I want to talk about two things. They have a facility here, the Rockdale facility. This is where they're conducting almost all of their business right now. And you'll see here the largest Bitcoin mining data center in North America with 700 megawatts of total capacity at Rockdale, Texas, 12.5 exahash by Q4 of 2023. So that has been their target for a long time. They have put out some press releases. They just committed to buy 7.6 exahash worth of machines. That's going to get them over 20 exahash sometime they believe in Q1 of 2024. They have the option to buy another 15 exahash of machines past that to potentially sometime in the next two or three years 
get them to maybe 35 exahash. So that would make them, if not the biggest Bitcoin miner, among the biggest Bitcoin miners. And from an infrastructure standpoint, they're already the biggest Bitcoin miner. So they have the strongest balance sheet. They're the biggest Bitcoin miner from an infrastructure standpoint. And in addition to that, they own property here, what's called their Corsicana facility. They are going to build this out. This facility is actually one gigawatt, so it's actually even larger than their Rockdale facility. And their Rockdale facility is already the largest Bitcoin mining facility in North America. So they could potentially have the top two largest Bitcoin mining facilities. They could potentially run to 35 exahash. The one gigantic thing that looms over their head is what is going on with their Bitcoin hosting. So last but not least, to take an unbelievably quick look at their chart, you're going to see I have a green line here at about $10.50. They're trading at $10.35 right now. This has been a very significant line of support. This line comes from their August 2022 highs. For those of you who watch the channel, you'll know that Bitcoin had about a 40 or 45 percent rally in August of 2022. That was the last time in 2022 that Bitcoin rallied in the middle of what was a brutal crypto winter. So that was a line of resistance. That line of resistance in 2023 has turned into a fairly nice line of support. We're sitting right at that line of support right now. So, you know, from a technical standpoint, this could potentially be a buying opportunity. You guys need to do your own due diligence and assess your own risk tolerance and decide whether or not this is a stock that you are interested in owning. Those are my thoughts on Riot Platforms. Thanks so much for watching. And if you made it this far, please remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video.